Greetings, everybody. Learning is a hobby here. I'm trying to block out the light here. Um, continuing with my my uh, <laughs> my series on uh, my bookshelf. Uh, my books on my bookshelf. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, just laughing at my my horrible setup here. Um, so we're going to look at the bookshelf, uh, my bookshelf that contains all my cryptography books. So that's what I'm going to do uh, in this video. Let me turn the camera around and we can take a look at them. Um, just give me a minute. Okay, here we go. Um, so like I said, these are my cryptography books. Uh, we'll go from left to right. And uh, maybe I'll, I'll go over the books on, that are on top later on. We just take them off the top first and we'll do those last. Okay, going from left to right, um, I have a short book on cryptography. Uh, I don't know if I can get this in the camera view here. Uh, Code Ciphers, Steganography and Secret Messages by Sun Tana. Uh, this is a sort of like an introductory, like a an easy introductory book on cryptography. It's not really a textbook or anything, uh, but it does have nice history and, and some explanations. And also it has a lot of nice diagrams and pictures in it. So if you don't know anything about cryptography, this might be a good book to pick up and, you know, just learn about the, you know, the very bas basics of the, the subject. Um, it's a, an interesting one. So that's number one. Number two is a very famous book. Whoop if I can grab it, is a very famous book on, uh, it's a classic, on the history of cryptography. And I have to show you the, the uh, spine because I lost the dust jacket for it, unfortunately. Um, this is The Code Breakers, The Story of Secret Writing by Khan. Like I said, this is a classic. Um, you can see how how big it is. This is like the book on on the history of cryptography. Um, it contains, the, you know, all of the history from the the dawn of um, writing all the way up to World War II. And it, it actually ends in World War II because that's when the book was published. Um, and then, you know, for after World War II, there are you know plenty of other books that deal with the history afterward. But um, this is a fantastic, a fantastic history on cryptography. Very um, thorough, I guess. Um, I'm not completely done with this book yet. You can see I'm actually like, uh, what am I, like halfway through it, through a little less than halfway through the book. Um, it makes for good nighttime reading if you keep it on your bedstand. Uh, another book, the next book that I have here is another popular book. It's also on, I guess you could think of it as like a, a historical book on cryptography. This is The History and Mystery of the World's Greatest Unsolved Ciphers from Ancient Egypt to Online Secret Societies by Craig P. Bauer. Um, I credit this book with, this is the book that got me interested in cryptography uh, in the first place. Um, Craig P. Bauer uh, has a bunch of lectures that you can watch online through YouTube, which I recommend. They're very interesting. Uh, he has some lectures uh, about this book when he published when it was first published, but he also has some lectures on uh, crypt uh, cryptography in general, so you should check those out. Um, I highly recommend this book. It's very entertaining, and it like like I said, it uh, gripped me uh, gripped my brain <laughs> so hard that I I wanted to uh, you know study crypt cryptography after I read it. Um, it covers like like it said the book says all kinds of. Uh, famous unsolved ciphers from history. Um, I will say though that some of the, the ciphers that are in this book actually have been cracked at this point. Uh, for example, um, I believe the Somerton Man um, mystery, which is one of the, the chapters in this book was solved uh, with within the last couple of years, I think. Um, and also the, uh, um, the, the um, Zodiac Killer ciphers that, that were still um, uncracked by the, the police, I, I believe, were, were recently cracked within the last couple of years or something. Um, so some and, and some others, too. So some of these have have been solved since the publishing of the book, but they're that doesn't make their history any less interesting. So I, I highly recommend this. this is a good like airplane reading or train reading because you can read the chapter by chapter and you can skip around. You don't have to read it in, in order. Um, so this, yeah, I highly recommend this one. 
And then next on the bookshelf, I have actually Craig P. Bauer's textbook on cryptography. This is Secret History, The Story of Cryptography by Craig P. Bauer. Um, this is one of my favorite books that I that I own. Um, he goes through the through he teaches you cryptography, but uh, through the the history of it. Um, that's why it's called Secret History, <laughs> the story of cryptology. Um, really well written book, really good, uh, interesting examples from history. Uh, like he talks about Edgar Allan Poe and, and a whole bunch of other interesting stuff. Um, highly recommend this one as well. Um, I would I would consider doing this this book on the channel. Uh, like I said, this is a, an actual textbook. Uh, the only thing with that is there aren't exercises in the book. However, there are exercises for the book. They're just not in the book that you can download the exercise sets um, online as a PDF. Uh, so, you know, there's a link to where to get them in the introduction of the book. So for that reason, I, I don't know that I necessarily want to do this one on the channel. But like I said, it's a good read and I definitely recommend it. Uh, Craig P. Bauer is a, a very good writer. Uh, next on the shelf is a two volume series on foundations of crypt, uh, cryptogra uh, cryptography. So volume one and volume two by uh, Oded Goldrich, uh, foundations of cryptography, volume one, basic tools, and then volume two, basic applications. This is a, a, a way more advanced book uh, series of books on cryptography than Bauer's book or a lot of the other ones that I'm going to show you here. Uh, I, I would say this is more like a grad level, grad level series of textbooks. So you, you have to really kind of, you have to have some prerequisite knowledge to really uh, go through these. So um, if we do go through these books on the channel, it'll be a very long time from now. So, but th they're considered, I guess, like classics as well in the field. All right, next is another great book on introductory cryptography, which is the next book we're going to do on the channel on when we, you know, finish the, the book on cryptography that we're doing already, which is Elementary Crypto Analysis by a Mathematical Approach by Sinkov. Uh, I won't really talk too much about this book because we're actually doing it on the channel. So if you want to see some of the videos, um, we, we've done some of this stuff in chapter one already. So, uh, you know, I'll, if you want to know more about this book, I'll, you know, just uh, guide you to the uh, the videos on the book on the channel. But this book is the next one I want to do once we finish Sinkoff's book. Um, Cryptography, Theory and Practice, fourth edition by Douglas Stinson and Maura Patterson. Um, this is a fantastic book on like introductory cryptography. Uh, like I said, that's why we're gonna do, we're gonna do it. The exercises are fantastic in this book. Um, it's it's got great uh, you know a great uh, explanations about on the topics and so on, and the different ciphers. Um, yeah, I, I just really like this book. And also, if you go to uh, Doug Stinson's uh, you know page at, at I forget what college he teaches at or taught at. I don't know if he's still a teacher, but he, you know, at his college web uh, web page, uh, he has a lot of stuff that you can download that's interesting, like papers that he wrote on cryptography and so on. Um, so this one will be done on the channel at some point. So just you know, keep an eye out for that. You might want to pick up a copy for whenever that happens. Um, and you know, as always, I'm going to have uh, affiliate links in the description bar if you want to pick up any of these books. All right. Uh, the next four, I think I'll do together because they're by the same author. Uh, okay, so first one I'll, I'll start with is this one here. History of Cryptography and Cryptanalysis, Code Ciphers and Their Algorithms by John F. Dooley. Um, like it says, it's a history of cryptography and cryptanalysis, and it's done really well. The production values are great. The You know, the, the page pages have nice charts and diagrams and pictures and so on and the writing is really good uh, I really like the way he writes which is why I have all of his books <laughs> um, so yeah it's, it's a great a little history book on cryptography um, I also have this book written by same author John Dooley uh, a brief history of cryptology and cryptographic algorithms this one is a, a bit more technical than the the one that I just showed you um, and it's a, a bit shorter but uh, like I said it's more technical so you have to know a little bit more to really understand it uh, the next one is a history of 
Cryptography during World War I. This is Code, Ciphers, and Spies, Tales of Military Intelligence in World War I. Uh, World War I uh, saw the use of uh, cryptography at a level not seen before. And uh, that World War I is where a lot of the techniques uh, you know, transitioned from like the older um, the older cryptographic systems to more modern ones, uh, which uh, really modern cryptography didn't really start until World War II, but they had their their uh, you know beginnings in World War One. So this book is all on the history of cryptography during World War One. And then also he has this collect this book, which is a collection of uh, fictional short stories each of which centers around a cryptogram or some sort of, you know, crypt something having to do with cryptography. This is called Codes and Villains and Mystery, the best stories with codes and ciphers from 1843 to 1920. I believe he, in the inter introduction, says he wanted this to be a series of books. So that's why it's 1843 to 1920. Uh, he wanted to do, you know, 1920 up until whatever, you know, uh, so have a few volumes of it. But I don't think there's another volume of this yet, at least. Uh, this is the only one that I know of. Um, on the co front cover, just an interesting thing. Uh, you have uh, two famous ciphers from uh, from fiction. This is the, the cipher uh, from the story, The Dancing Men, which is a Sherlock Holmes story. And the cipher that's below it is from The Gold Bug, written by Edgar Allan Poe. Both of these ciphers you can actually solve yourself because they're just uh, monoalphabetic substitution ciphers, which if you know how to solve those, which is relatively straightforward, uh, you can actually solve these while you're reading the book. Um, and the stories give you sort of like cribs to make solving them a little bit easier. But the whole part of the like allure of those stories is that you can actually crack this, the codes yourself and uh, figure out uh, what the message says before Sherlock Holmes does, or you know the characters in the Gold Bug. So uh, yeah, I, I really enjoy stories that that have cryptograms in them, um, and this is a good collection of them. So you can check that out by John F. Dooley. Um, next one is a book I found uh, in Barnes and Noble. I was reading it there one day, and I I thought it was a really well written book. This is. The Mathematics of Secrets, Cryptography from Caesar Ciphers to Digital Encryption by Joshua Holden. Uh, this is meant as more of like a pop popular um, math book, uh, but they don't shy away from the mathematics. There's a lot of math in here, um, but it's written really well. And it's, you know, he starts with this, you know, very simple types of cryptograms and shows you how to uh, how to make them, how to break them, and so on. Um, it's not a textbook, even though like there are, you know, you can try the the, the uh, cryptograms yourself uh, as you go through the text, which I suggest that you do. Um, but it's it's well written. I like it, and it's kind of cheap because it's like a popular book. It's uh, let me see what it is in the back. Uh, it's like twenty something dollars. So uh, that's a good one if you've never learn if you don't know anything about cryptography you could start with a book like this and um you know see some of the uh the introductory stuff uh one little word of warning here i don't know if there if there's a revised ed edition of this or not i bought it a while ago but there are i when i was reading through it i did notice that there was a few um a few typos and and mistakes in it so uh as you're working through the problems and so on just keep that in mind that sometimes there there are mistakes in in here so all right, next two books I definitely want to do on the channel as well. These two books are written by Neil Koblitz, uh, which you may that you may remember that name from the previous video. Uh, Neil Koblitz uh, also wrote this book, Introduction to Elliptic Curves and Modular Forms, from the last video, and um, this these are his two books on uh, cryptography which I want to do on the channel. One of them is an undergraduate book. That's this one here, Algebraic Aspects of Cryptography. And one is a graduate level book, which is a course in number theory and cryptography. Uh, second edition, this is, I guess this is first edition because it doesn't say an edition number on it. Um, but yeah, I like Neil Koblitz. And uh, part of the reason why I think I'm gonna do Rosen's book on number theory uh, that I was talking about in the last video is because uh, Rosen, you know, focuses more on like uh, computer science, um, 
applications of number theory, uh, which, uh, you know, I wanted to make sure to get a good foundation, for, to build a good foundation for, so that we can get to these two books here. Um, so these will, will definitely get done on the channel at some point. Okay, next book um, is another uh, pretty good book in the literature. It's a, uh, I don't know if it's famous. I don't know if I would say it's famous, but uh, it's an important book in the literature. And in fact, uh, Stinson in his uh, book here um, that I talked about before, Crypto Cryptography Theory and Practice, refers to this book a lot in as a reference uh, in the textbook, and uh, I used this a lot when I was reading through his book. Uh, this is by F. L. Bauer, not not the same Bauer as the one that wrote Secret History. Um, this is Decrypted Secrets, Methods, and Maxims of Cryptography. Uh, the problem uh, with this book is I think it's out of print, so I don't know if you'll actually be able to get a copy for a decent price. Um, but you know, if you can find a used one, maybe. Maybe you'll you'll find it for uh, you know an okay price. I have the third edition. I don't know if there's later editions of it, but I remember when I was looking for this book, it was kind of hard to find a copy. So that's uh, just something to be aware of. Okay, next one: Understanding Cryptography, a textbook for students and practitioners by Christoph Parr and Jan uh, Peltzel. Um, Christoph Parr has lectures that you can see online for this book. Um, so you could watch the lectures as you go through the book itself, uh, which is useful. And he's a good teacher. The book is well-written, good exercises. And also a, a plus for this one is you can download a partial solutions manual from the book's website. Um, you can download that for free. So you have this, a partial solution manual, at least, and uh, the videos that you can watch. So it's kind of like you can take a course in it, but uh, taught by Christoph Parr. Uh, next is another one that I would like to do on the on the channel, but I think the ones that we are, we're all already going to go over are going to be more than enough. Uh, this is an introduction to mathematical cryptography by Hofstein. Uh, Pfeiffer and Silverman. Uh, if you remember, Sil Joseph Silverman is the one who wrote uh, this book I was talking about in the last video, Rational Points on Elliptic Curves. Um, that's the same Joe Silverman. Uh, this is his book on cryptography. Uh, it's, and again, it's, it focuses a lot more on the, the mathematical aspects of cryptography. Um, and it's an interesting, you know, book, math book on that topic. So uh, I, like I said, I, it would be nice to be able to go through this one on the channel, but I don't know, this, there's only so many hours in the day. Um, Next one is a book I haven't really read because I don't know anything about um, I don't know anything about quantum physics at all. But yet, at least, uh, this is crypto uh, crypto cryptography apocalypse: preparing for the day when quantum computing breaks today's crypto uh, by Roger A. Grimes. Um, so, if you know anything about um, computer science, the, they're working on building you know quantum computers that. Uh, will be, be because of the speed we'll be able to crack pretty much any cryptographic protocol that we have today um next i have cracking codes with python i've mentioned before i want to teach myself python which i haven't done yet but this is a nice i guess like you know way to learn python you can make uh stuff uh involving you know uh, cryptography and so on so cracking codes with python this is by al schweigart uh, next book is a popular book, but it's a, a history, uh, again, a history book on cryptography. This is Code Warriors. I haven't read this one yet, but I think it's it mainly focuses around World War II, so code breaking in World War II. Uh, this one, like I said, I don't really have to talk too much about because we're going through it on the channel already. Elementary Cryptanalysis and Mathematical Approach by Sinkov. Uh, this book I haven't read either, but it looks interesting, so maybe someday I'll 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 read through it. American Cryptog uh, Cryptology during the Cold War, nineteen forty five to nineteen eighty nine, the complete declassified official four volume history of the NSA by Thomas Johnson. Um, obviously, the Cold War was a huge time for cryptography. I guess so is today, but. <laughs> um, Next one is a classic also. This is sort of like the first real book that was written for laymen on cryptanalysis. 
Uh, this is by Helen Fauch Gaines. You can pick this one up from Dover. So it's nice, nice price. And it's a classic book in the literature, uh, a study of ciphers and their solution, a fun book to go through, lo lots of nice exercises. Um, and like I said, it's a Dover title, so you can't really argue with the price. Uh, another Dover that book that I have is this one, Code, Ciphers, and Secret Writing by Martin Gardner, uh, who is known, you know, was known for his math column that he wrote for a long time. Um, this is his book on, it's like a, a kid's book kind of on cryptography, but uh, here you can see uh, the Sherlock Holmes cipher here and the gold bug cipher. <laughs> you can see that those are very famous. Um, but, you know, he goes into, uh, you know, some simple cipher systems. Uh, I think it's written for more of a younger audience, but I think adults could get something out of it, too, if you don't know anything about cryptography. You know, it'd be a nice book to sit down with a cup of coffee on a, on a lazy Sunday and go through. You could do it in a day. Um, then I have this book. Is this, this is not Dover, I don't think. Uh, Codes and Ciphers, A History of Cryptography. I can't really say much about that one because I haven't read it. Um, Oh, this one is one that maybe we'll do on the channel. Uh, Modern Cryptography and Elliptic Curves, a Beginner's Guide by Thomas Shemansky. This is another one of those AMS like project books. Uh, this one's on, you know, the application of elliptic curves, sorry, elliptic curves to cryptography. So maybe at some point we'll do this project book together on the channel. Um, I have a couple other sort of little like introductory books on cryptography that I haven't really looked at, but this is Secrets of Making and Breaking Codes uh, by Hamilton Nichols, a hands-on guide to both simple and sophisticated codes to easily help you become a code master. And then there's this one. This is a Dover book, uh, Cryptography, the Science of Secret Writing by Lawrence Dwight Smith, History and Modern Use of Code Ciphers together with 151 Problems and Their Solutions. So this is, you know, this is this would be a fun like little thing to go through as well because it has solutions in it and everything. Uh, and this, the ciphers I'm sure are very simple. Um, okay, and then I have, Let's see if I can, let me just grab the rest of them off the shelf here. Uh, I have, uh, this is a classic in the literature as well, The American Black Chamber by Herbert O. Yardley. Uh, Yardley was a, code, um, a crypt analyst during World War I uh, who ran what's called The American Black Chamber. Um, this book, when it came out, was a, a sort of controversial because he was, um, people felt like he was revealing, you know, the, the secrets of the American uh, spy system and, and military and so on by, uh, you know, sort of lifting up the, the curtains to behind the, the American code breaking um, arm of the military. Um, I haven't had a chance to read this yet, but this is supposedly like a, a hugely, you know, very classic book. Um, I believe Herbert Yardley was also used to, uh, as a, a template for... James Bond, uh, you know, the, the charismatic spy that like likes to gamble and uh, is a womanizer and so on. <laughs> uh, I believe they, they got the template for James Bond from Herbert Yardley. Um, so yeah, I'll read this one at some point. Then I have uh, Simon Singh's book on uh, the history of cryptography, the code book. This is an interesting read. I definitely re recommend picking this one up because it's an easy read. It's not too, too long. Uh, the Science of Secrecy from Ancient Egypt to Quantum Cryptography by Simon Singh. Uh, I picked this book up in the gift store of the um, the Spy Museum in Washington, D.C. when my, my wife and a few friends of ours uh, took a trip down to Virginia and to Washington, D.C., and we took in the sites and everything. The Spy Museum was one of the things that we did, and I I loved it. By the way, if you, you, know, if you go down to Washington, D.C., definitely check out the Spy Museum. Uh, but they have a lot of cool stuff in, in the gift store. This is one of the one of the things that I picked up there. Um, oh, just another. Actually, bef before I move to the next book, Simon Singh has a, a website that you should check out where the, he has a lot of tools for uh, cryptography that you can use for cryptography. Um, check that that site out because there's a lot of cool stuff on there. I think I I might have shown some of it on the channel before, maybe in one of the sections from Sinkov that we were looking at. Um, and also there are challenge ciphers in the back of this book. Unfortunately, the challenge has expired, I believe. Uh, I, I don't even know what the results are. So I'm sure that, that pe people cracked the, the challenge ciphers, but uh, I can't say whether they were all broken or not, but I believe the, the challenge is expired already. So, but there are challenge ciphers in the back of the book if you wanna you know try and figure them out yourself. 
Uh, the last two books on, on the shelf here are information theory books. Um, this is Information Theory, a Tutorial Introduction by James Stone. I haven't had a chance to look at either of these yet, but I picked this book up because uh, he uses Python in it. And like I mentioned already, I want to learn Python. Uh, and then this one is a Dover book uh, on information theory by John Pierce, an introduction to information theory, symbols, signals, and noise. Um, and then, so that's basically all of the books on the shelf. And then the ones that I have on top, I'll end the video with. Um, so there's this one, uh, Quantum Computing, an Applied Approach. I uh, haven't gone through this yet because, like I said, I don't really know quantum mechanics yet. <laughs> uh, and then I have um, this book here, which is the book that I'm going to use to teach myself whoop, to teach myself Python when I get around to it. Um, there, this is uh, Introduction to Computation and Programming Using Python with Applications to Understanding Data by John Gutag. Uh, nice thing about this book is there are lectures, uh, video lectures for the book on MIT OpenCourseWare, and they're taught by John Gutag. So again, you could use this book along with the, the lectures and the other content that's on the, the uh, MIT OpenCourseWare page, like tests and homework assignments and stuff, uh, you know, to get a a nice like little um, self-learning class going uh, for teaching yourself Python. And then the other book, which I just dropped, if I can pick it up, um, is this one on uh, LaTeX, uh, Beginner's Guide, Great high, high Quality Professional Looking Text Articles and Books for Business and Science Using LaTeX by Stefan Kotwitz. So uh, if you know, you have to, you know, you should know LaTeX if you're um, a sign, you know, in, going into the sciences uh, because it's uh, what people use uh, to, to write technical papers and so on. And that's it. Um, that's the, the entire book uh, bookshelf on my cryptography stuff. Let me just come back around and I'll switch the, the camera angle and then I'll say goodbye to you guys. Okay, so again, um, hopefully that you found you guys found that video interesting. Uh, I'll put the, the affiliate links in the description bar for some of the books that I have here, not all of them, but the ones that I that I think are you know some of my favorites. Um, the other thing is, uh, if if you want to support the channel, well, first of all, if you're going to buy the books, you used to put the affiliate affiliate link because it doesn't charge, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it just gives uh, the channel some money. Um, but also, uh, there is the Patreon page, which is five dollars a month, and for that five dollars a month, you get a whole bunch of extra content. You get uh, lectures on. Right now, we're going through uh, Blitzer's College Algebra book. We're on chapter seven already. But in addition to the lectures, um, the video lectures, there's also homework assignments and uh, the solutions to the homework assignments that you can download as PDFs. So you get a lot of content for your $5 a month. And once we finish uh, Blitzer's Algebra, we're going to go on to his pre-calculus book. Then we're going to go on to Stewart's Calculus. And then we're going to go on to uh, the Discrete Math book by Rosen. Um, so, you know, in the, <laughs> at least for the, the um, near future, we have a lot of content on the way uh, on the Patreon page. So if that sounds interesting, uh, you know, go ahead and take a look at it, sign up. Like I said, it's only $5 a month and you get a lot of stuff for it. So uh, enough of the uh, the advertising. Let me uh, finish the video here. The next video uh, is going to be my, um, well, my first shelf on history of math books. I have quite a few history of math books, but we'll start on the first shelf uh, shelf's worth of those. So keep an eye out for that. Until that time, keep learning, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video.